Well, hello again, friends. Uh, my name is Adam, and I'm excited to join you again today. And so let's start uh, as we did last time, and let's just remember uh, that God is here with us. So let's close our eyes, and let's just say this phrase together as we breathe in, that you are here. You are here. None of us are alone. We're not alone. Uh, he is with us as we talk uh, together. And today uh, I brought an orange from the orange tree in my backyard. And for years, we have watered and pruned and nourished this tree. Now we're seeing the benefits of it. Uh, it's one of the rare things that I don't have to fight other people for at the grocery store right now. And uh, years ago, we planted a lime tree in a pot and the fruit never grew. And recently we pulled it up and we found out that the roots had rotted and were disconnected from the tree and the branches. And of course we know for the fruit to grow, it has to get its nourishment uh, from deep within, uh, from the roots. And Jesus talks about this exact thing. Uh, he gives us one of the most profound spiritual truths in John 15 where he says this, if you remain in me, uh, abide in me, connect with me, you will bear much fruit. But if you're apart from me, if you're disconnected from me, you can do nothing. And so the reality is like, we all want to become more loving and patient and kind and gentle and have more self-control, but we don't have the power to do that. We can't do that on our own. Uh, that power can only come from Christ, from God. We have to connect to him and he grows that uh, within us. And so uh, a question for all of us is, uh, are we trying to uh, put our effort and our energy into the wrong things, into behavior modification, where we try to do all the right things or not do the wrong things, when instead we should be putting our effort and our energy into abiding and connecting and being with Christ. So during this odd season, maybe this is a chance for us all to learn how to abide and connect with Christ more. Maybe for you, it's using this time to learn solitude and silence. Uh, maybe it's taking walks with Christ, conversing with him, learning how to say breath prayers and remembering he is with you on a walk. Maybe it's using your extra time to study, to pray, to fast, to meditate. All these ways are ways to abide in the love of Christ and to remember that the power comes when we connect with him and he transforms us and he produces the fruit within us. So may we abide in his love together.